look. One day, I really hope to learn the lesson of being on time. I had reservations. Well, my ticket says five o'clock and it's almost seven and they close at eight. I really just hope that they let me in. That's number one. Number two, I hope that this is a learning lesson for me because this is a lesson I really need to learn. Um, I'm late because I wanted, can you see me? I wanted this look, okay? This says to me, sophisticated art connoisseur. The bag, the dress, the clogs, the lip gloss. So to me, it's worth it. But I just don't know how I'm going to explain to these people like, yes, I know my my ticket says five o'clock and it's 6.40. If they don't let me into the museum, we're going to find something else to do because I look cute. Little old me. Walking down the street. Um, did I know that when I boarded the um, Broad Street line that there was no connection between the Broad Street line and the museum? No. Did I also know that these bikes, you needed a pass? No. So you know what I did? I called an Uber. Richard is coming to pick me up. So yeah, this is your tip to always plan and make sure that you have a ride to where you're going and that that ride is actually accurate and that it's gonna take you there. Just because you think that there's transportation somewhere doesn't mean that there's transportation somewhere. And sometimes, um, yeah, life doesn't go as you plan it, but there's always a second option. Richard is coming to pick me up. We're still going to the museum and we're still gonna have fun. Okay, well, still outside on the street. Me outside on the street. You don't know, eh? City things, eh? You don't know, eh? Hi, Richard. <laughs> Good, how are you? I feel like... So we made it to the museum. I'm racing Matthew, hold on. Oh, Nayeli's gonna go too. Oh. Some people are running, but... Um, but the space between... The public eye and my coochie is very, very small. Can't do that. But just know that I will smoke these people. They know it, I know it. This is a pretty cool view. As soon as I entered the museum, I was greeted by this exhibit titled The Artist's Mother by James McNeil Whistler. The painting is a portrait of his mother, Anna Matilda McNeil Whistler. This is the first time in 142 years that the painting is seen in the city of Philadelphia. And here she is. For more information on that, check out the museum website because it is highlighted one there. This was my favorite painting in the exhibit. I was amazed by the contrast, the highlight, and the shadows. This next room was filled with a bunch of beautiful paintings 
As soon as I saw these sailing boats, I realized how much of a lazy artist I am. These artists spend hours, days, months on these paintings, and sometimes I leave my projects unfinished because I just don't want to. I love this girl right here. I could feel her energy from two planets away. She was giving bitch don't kill my vibe. Loved it. Couldn't decide if this was fruit on a mattress or one of those psych wards. I loved, loved, loved the detail. Like I can't get over the details in these paintings. I also loved how the frames of the paintings were unified, but in the same way they were different. Like the one on the end, I feel like glows more and highlights the portrait more than the other ones, which were a little bit duller. Okay, but why does this next one look like Chloe from Dance Mom? I love these two paintings of this young boy. I feel like they perfectly captured the emotion on the child's face. The middle one is my absolute favorite. It screams, Daddy, Daddy, and I just, I love it. Like, look at that! What? I feel like I can feel the branches in that painting, and that's ridiculous. I love this glistening baby in this next one. Like, it really gives summer vibes. This gives out with the bros, fuck the woes. It's just hard for me to imagine that a human did this because these are just so beautiful I ain't got nothing to say about the monkeys chill they monkeys they hooting and hollering this is a nice bridge this is cute I would visit I also love the color in this room she is giving body yaddy yaddy I loved the painting behind her This was one of the first pieces that gave me that effect. First time I saw this, I thought someone was getting their hair braided. Now I see two girls kissing. I don't know. But I like it though. This next one shall she the cramping or giving birth. These were darling. My oh, my oh, my boo. Look at those bouquets at the top. Like, come on now. I saw a lot of furniture and I didn't care until I realized that somebody actually took their time to make it. And then it started looking like va va va. This next room had a lot of great portraits, great art, but my amazement was with the color of the room. I love a good earth tone, baby. And those sheeps? Are you freaking kidding me? Realistic or what? I don't know. I vote yes. This lady better than me because I would have quit quickly. starting to see the colored folks and I'm happy like doesn't this look like a picture it's ridiculous this kind of reminds me of the Alabama brawl no but for real I love the expression on these men's faces one looks terrified the other looks like he's praying to God and that last one looked like he don't give a damn I cannot believe that this painting is real. It's so small, but yet has so much detail. This one right here gave fuck around and find out. 
peppy style. I loved this sculpture question mark. It's pottery. I don't know. But it was very beautiful to look at. I love the draping details, the muscles. I actually first saw this painting on Twitter and it told me that it was this king of whatever land, but in reality, when I read the description, it was just a paid actor, but he still looks dropped it gorgeous. I adored how the artist captured the indoor lighting in this painting. I truly feel like I'm there. Just a lad in his sand boat. really cool to see the Saints of France in person. Like, wow, okay. And then this, darling, you are beneath me. Ugh. I couldn't decide if he was helping him or they were fighting and he was like, uh, gonna kill you. But gorgeous. Something about this toe just gets me though. This one though was absolutely beautiful. I adored staring at her. She was gorgeous, mysterious, brave, dangerous. Just not the bitch to fuck with. Like, and I loved it. I loved it. Doesn't this give Medusa? You're haunting this house with your whiteness, Brian. Great detail though. But let's get back to this black drawer dresser cabinet. Let's get, I think it's cabinet. Wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Like the detail. This ain't no 3D printer, baby. I think it's funny they put this just random fish in the corner. In Bloom was super cool. Does anyone else see the dog in the middle and the ghost in the right flower? Or is it just me? This one was given the criminals off of the Powerpuff Girls, but they looked like happy criminals. This is where I truly admired abstract art, because like, what is going on? This one gave Boss B, featuring Nicki Minaj. It was titled, Woman with a Braid. Like, duh, duh, me? Yeah, me with a braid, duh. Hand on hip, ugh. This house was trippy. I kept seeing the houses inside out, I don't know. Why do I feel like the artist painted this with blood? I don't know. Again, the shadows, the shadows. Was that Squidward? Oh, stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning. Work of art. I feel like this was capturing elements of nature in a way. That's what I saw. I can't explain this one, but I love this one. It's warm, it's comforting, it's confusing and relaxing, but this one right here is so poised and so elegant and so calm. Like, I was in love with her. I think the artist did a great job of capturing the softness of a black woman, if that makes sense. Some of the pieces I genuinely didn't understand how they got there, like this one, but you know, I enjoyed it. And coming up is my least favorite sculpture of all, the litter. Like why would you do that? You're such a trash human for that. Don't litter. 
Anyways, moving on. Now this one right here was real abstract. I was seeing instruments play instruments, lawn chairs. Um, This looked like the guy off of the regular show. Now. What did Nikki say? All oh, these bitches is my sons, and I'm gonna go and get the bibs for them. Like this is what it's giving. This next one is gorgeous. I see a whole bunch of ladies walking, but at the same time, I see a, a tulip. I think. I love these abstract. This I saw three buddies or two buddies. One playing an instrument. One comforting another. I see a lot of things in this one. Yeah, I didn't really get this one. Lost me at the urinal, but mad respects. This next one is so iconic to me. The simplicity of black beauty is what I got from this. The lips, the high bun, the head. Wow. And my man, thank you to my man. I truly felt the love in that one. He looked like he had a headache. But this one, oh Lord. This one right here took my breath away so much aggression so much passion so much vulnerability oh like it was just amazing i love art that can tell you how it is before you read how it is and you can truly feel the sadness in this girl's life through her eyes and i loved it um me and whose son let me know thank you When I first looked at this, I was like, now how did this get in here? But then when I saw the rest of the collection, I started to see the anger in these pictures. And it also made me think about an angry child when they're coloring, like it's aggressive and it's dark and like you don't even know what's going on, but you can feel it. Like that's what I got from this exhibit and I actually quite liked it. Would I purchase it? No. But then this one right here, can y'all see the angry drunk sad man in the corner or is it just me? I feel like these would make some really cool pants. This artist right here, I loved. I thought he did an amazing job capturing life through an animated lens and I love the close-up of this guy you can see the whip lashes like I'm amazed by the detail it's comforting it's community it's it's support now this one but really all of these ones like it was minimalistic but what's the difference between them doing it and me? Like, that's what I want to know. Y'all, when I got into this room, I'm telling you, my ancestors, my bloodline, it was cold. My peoples did not belong in this room, child. Loved the art. Like, look at this table. But it gave such a cold and and ugh, scary racist vibe i don't know i felt like my color was not appreciated now this one looked like your auntie at a cookout with a high bun and some curls loved it i 
I will say the detail of the landscape paintings just draw me in and reel me in and just never let me go. This girly, I love the glow. I love a good white glow. But I was very confused as to what my Asian brothers and sisters was doing on this vase. Alright, on to the next room. I adored these curtain decor. I don't know what to call them, but it was given theatrics on this white wall like it was giving love and hip-hop mixed with how to get away with murder and i was here for it then i came across this boy which i just for some reason wanted to give him a hug even though he kind of looked scary but kind of looked like a cute little michael jackson if he was white mommy mommy now this room was a little warmer Okay, my bloodline tolerated this one. It had a lot of things encapsulated, which only made me want to break the glass and steal the items, but I didn't. And I wouldn't, but it was a thought. Also loved the curtains in this room. It gave... I kind of wanted this. Like, I don't know. I just wanted it because it looked so pretty. Again, the detail. Like, look at the clouds in this one. The trees in this one. The highlight uh, of the sun. This kind of made me want to steal it. But I didn't. And I wasn't going to. But, now this says... It's me and my bros, fuck the hoes. Gang, gang, gang. If gang, gang had a picture back in the day. Now, this room was given very much presidential blue. It was less spooky, very snooty. Is this Mary had a little lamb? This is the type of horse that's too good for anybody to ride. He will punch you straight in the face for even looking at him. This is what I call a stallion. This one was given real sisters by future. Um, why is the baby holding a knife like that? I'm uncomfortable. I would actually like to know how they got this in this room and where it was before. I love being surrounded by art, but this took it to another level. Just wow. This half man, half beast in love with humanity, mmm, spicy. I would title this one, Glory. Mm. This next one really just caught my eye. I wanted to know what in the heck is going on here. Once I saw my people sitting on the sidelines, I saw the white man with the feathered crown. I was like, what in the world? But then I looked closely, and if you look at the detail on the skin, it kind of looks like the water people off of the second Black Panther movie, which I was like, okay, maybe they're visitors, maybe they're rejoicing with them. But the man sitting on the chief 
seat with the feathers is it i don't know i don't know yeah the native people of pacific ocean my butt but then we get into these dope ass paintings like i was literally blown away like this looked like the last days is this the last days honestly guys i can't even draw a straight line and i'm not even joking the sunset on this one was captivating i loved it This one was also one of my favorites to look at. I loved the detailing in the thunder. You can kind of see a face or a depiction of an animal. I'm not really sure. I kind of see like a man half beast type situation. And then if you pull out, you can see faces in the clouds. And then I'm thinking like, are the people scared of the lightning? Are they scared of the images in the clouds? Like very, very interesting piece. What I loved most about this room is that I felt like the sculptures and the paintings went well near each other. I felt like it was particularly placed to kind of play off each other, like this particular piece and this sculpture, they both give off mother, motherly vibes, and I feel like they go really well together. Down to the sand color of the wall. I love the detail in her hair. I think her curls pop so cutely. Walking into this room felt very Roman Catholic. I loved this exposure of light. It kind of glistened at the paintings. I'm not really sure what the source of light is for that. Next time I go, I'll be sure to ask them. Well guys, thanks for joining me on this art exploration of the museum. I had such a good time. I only saw like a small portion of the museum, which is like, what the heck? Because I walked a lot and it was a lot to see. So I can't even imagine that there's more to see out there. So maybe this will be like a series or something where me and you can go to the art museum. Let me show you my bag. Let me show you my hair. So yeah, um, I hope you had a great time with me. I had a wonderful time with you. Thanks for watching this video. Come back for the next time I go to the art museum. Maybe I'll be wearing a different outfit, maybe not. Um, JK, most likely I will. But guys, we're out. <laughs>